Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is no secret that right now on the FIFA 23 market, prices are very, very high. But will we ever have a market crash? Will it come soon? Will it be a while from now? That's what I want to talk about a bit today because we actually started to see yesterday on Friday with the Future Stars Team 2 release, some cards started to drop off just a little bit. And I'm talking a little bit like pretty minute amounts, right? Like this Gold Mbappe is 840, 835,000 coins right now. He's down like 20 to 30,000 coins. That's not a crash. That's just a slight drop. But is this a sign of more things to come or is the market going to continue in its very high priced ways over the next couple of weeks and this is just a little bit of a blip on the radar if you will we're going to discuss that a bit today with some other events that are going on today on saturday we'll also talk about for the content today what to expect we had a crazy flashback leak yesterday that might be our spc today and honestly it'd be crazy if ea did that so we'll take a look at that and of course talk everything related to future stars team number two spc's objectives cards and packs and the like. So if you're excited for the video today, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's talk market, boys, because it is no secret. Like we said, the market is up a lot. And as expected, Team 2 cards from Future Stars started off in price very high yesterday. Enzo, Musiala were both 2 million coins, are now down a little bit now. I expect a lot of these guys to drop further today as they most often do on Saturdays. Now, of course, there will have there will be some fluctuations, right? I actually bought a Musiala at the 1.7 flat range, hoping that he can rebound back up and get rare to about 1.9 uh, before, you know, he drops off further into today on Saturday. Stuff like that, right? You'll have some rises on cards today, maybe in Ketia, maybe Fagioli goes up a little bit, but a lot of these cards will end up being lower in price tomorrow than they are today. So just be careful holding on to them, especially uh, Kavara Dona. He got his price range update extinct at 800K, went up to about a million coins, and is now down to 830. I expect one more rebound on him, and then his price probably, like imagine how Mudrick and how um, Alvarez's cards did last week, right? They kind of dropped off a decent amount during the day on Saturday. Since these guys have already started to drop off, it might not be as much today, but just be careful if you're trying these guys out in a weekend league or whatever it may be. Don't hold on them forever they'll probably continue to drop off into today but for the rest of the market yesterday was a pretty mediocre day right and as we take a look at some prices like this gold mbappe he's actually down and this is not a good representation of the entire market because other cards are still crazy high in price and not down at all but some cards are following this trend where you see prices actually being their highest yesterday on friday before content and then some of them have just been slowly falling since yesterday's release of uh, Future Stars Team 2. Mbappe is 830, 840 right now. Now, is this the sign of the market like starting to drop and drop a lot? I really don't think so. I really just think this is a start of maybe the end of the ultra, like the peak, like the ultra high prices that we saw, those were not going to last forever on all of these cards. And I think that's what you saw yesterday. And the cards that are dropping off right now on the market are, are slightly dropping for a number of reasons, right? First reason yesterday, this Alfonso Davies was 360. Um, and he was invested in a lot. People were really hoping that he would arise for when Musiala came into packs. Now Musiala is very expensive, a 300k left back linking up a 1.7 million coin card probably a little over invested there so this card dropped off and same thing happened with kim min jay with the Kavaradona being extinct this is a card that people invested thinking they could link to that new card and maybe it would rise because he'd be out and people would have to link him in some way but this guy was a hundred thousand coins went all the way down to 80k i picked two up there and he's now back up to almost ninety thousand coins but panic selling was one reason why cards dropped yesterday like the davies and the kim and jay and then again we see this every single week this happens right there are new cards that come Come on to the game that replace older cards, right? And Ketia and De Ketelera, two strikers yesterday in the two to three hundred K range. But especially in Ketia, if you're running a Prem team, you maybe you were using Harry Kane, right? Look at his price since six p.m. yesterday at content drop. He has been dropping off in price because. People are switching to a different striker. They're changing up their team. They're using Enketia or uh, they're using that new striker, De Ketelero, whatever it may be. Some cards are down because of that as well. And then if you take a look at the rest of the market, I mean, there's some other cards in here that you're like, Nate, why is Koulibaly 
um, down. He was it's 565 right now. He was actually lower than this. He was 550, 540. But look at his graph, right? He was almost 600K, went down to 546. Like, why are some of these cards down? And I mean, even Sokka as well, right? Sokka was 300K. He is down. Valverde's down a little bit. It's not just Team of the Year honorable mentions either. If you look through some of the other promo cards, Royce is down a bit. Fred is down a little bit. I mean, even Zlatan. I saw Neymar. Was it like 2.6 or 2.7? Yeah, 2.7. He's down a little bit. I mean, what are the other reasons for why the market has dropped off just a little bit in the past day? Is there really like panic upcoming for, is there something that we need to be worried about? Is that that icon pack? I don't really think it's that. I think it may be just be a combination of a couple other things. Of course, the anticipation of that big 89 plus prime or world cup icon pack could be making some people sell a few cards in their teams that could be part of it and we had the 87 plus hero player pick yesterday but really what we have to consider with all this is too i mean we've had a lot of hype on fifa with team of the year even before that with winter wild cards and then it felt like during this future stars promo it's kind of just started to drop off like the hype in terms of the SBCs and the content yes great cool cards are dropped during future stars not the most meta per se but there's still really cool cards that we can buy and try out in different players getting a promo card that no, don't normally get that but with new other video games coming out and just maybe the the content on FIFA lacking a little bit prices could just be falling off because there's a lack of demand or a lack of hype to play FIFA and I mean that you know is something that we really have to consider and I think that could be a part of the aspect of why you're seeing some prices drop on this game at the moment and that's why I think we're not really like seeing the beginnings of a market crash today what I really think we are starting to see is just the beginning of or, or the end of the crazy high prices where prices got way too high for what they really should have been but it was just because of the way content was right content wasn't that amazing it really wasn't that interactive the team of the year prices were so crazy high that uh, a lot of people went and bought other cards and it pushed other cards way up further on the market because of that so if the market's going to start slowly dropping from here on out on some cards, right? I still think team of the years are really safe. I still think a lot of cards, even that Neymar, are really safe cards unless EA does something crazy uh, or like our Neymar Road to the Final comes out specifically for Neymar. I feel like the market's still in a really safe spot. And what I'm trying to tell you today is not to panic sell by any means because I feel like the market's in a safe spot. But I'm just trying to say if you value your coin so much that you want to sell your card at the peak price possible, I think we are ending that. How much is Neymar's in for him? 900K? Goodness me. That's crazy high. Stuff like that, right? That card was like 600,000 coins when Team of the Year was around here. And, and now he's 915K. Like that's pretty wild. So if you're trying to sell your cards and get the, the best possible profit that you can get, then you know maybe this is the time you think about offloading a couple cards from your team and just knowing that they will probably not be this expensive again. But if you're like Nate, I bought Neymar for 650k. I don't care if he drops to 750 in the next two months uh, because I'm going to use him in my team. That's great as well. So it's up to you. It's kind of a personal decision. I'm not expecting a really big market crash anytime soon because there's no real catalyst yet. The only thing that can make uh, the market really drop off a lot, the way that I see it right now, is. People just deciding that they want to sell because when people start to decide that they want to sell, undercuts and panic and just honestly panic for no sense happens too many times on this game when it shouldn't. Uh, and that can absolutely impact the market. So that's the only other thing that without any big SBCs or leaks or a promos upcoming that we're like scared about, you know what I'm saying? Like there's none of that right now, which makes me feel really confident still about this market. But, you know, if people decide they want to sell, that's going to make the market drop off a little bit because people will start to panic. So unless there's some dumb panic like that, I don't expect a real big market crash. I think the market's going to stay pretty healthy. Uh, and it's kind of up to you whether you want to sell cards that you have that are in your team or if you want to hold on out on those just because you're still up so much from when you bought them maybe earlier on. And if you're not up that much, then, you know, take into consideration where the market's probably going to go in the next two to three weeks, four weeks, five weeks. Like the market will drop. We are in a high point. We've been saying it all week. But I just don't think it's going to go from like level 10 crazy high prices to level two big time market crash in like a week. It's going to take time um, because there's nothing, no big catalyst we've been saying, right, to make that happen. So that's kind of what I'm thinking with the market right now. Be careful today. There's a lot of anticipation for some market crashes. You saw me look here at the Yaya Torre World Cup. There is some anticipation of price drops on some of these cards. World Cup heroes like the Lucio, like the Yaya Toure, like your 
you know, your top tier, most meta cards, maybe some team of the years a little bit, but just your pro level cards. Um, you know, I think about this Mbappe, like the team of the tournament Mbappe is one of those that pros are using. Six mil, goodness me, there's only two of them on the market, but stuff like that could drop a little bit today because there is pro event qualifiers going on. So just be careful if you have any of those cards. Like I have a prime Yashin right now, which is something that I probably have to be careful with, even though I'm trying to flip it for profit at the moment. This is a card I might have to be a little bit careful with just because this is like a pro level card that, you know, pro players might be using. And, you know, when these pro events happen, the, the pros that lose usually go out and start selling some cards in their teams. I don't think it's going to be anywhere near as bad as it was uh, during team of the year, though, because, of course, that time there was like, oh, my goodness, team of the year is coming. Prices are going to drop, sell, sell, sell. So just watch that. Be careful with that today. But that's kind of how I'm feeling about the market. I wouldn't really be scared right now. I would just say notice the drops, but don't be super duper scared by any means uh, with what's going on in the market. So let's talk about content today on Saturday, though. What's up next for this game? Well, first of all, we got to take a look at this leak because this shocked everybody yesterday. And I don't think anybody was expecting this. Phil Jones is added to come as a flashback SBC soon. Now, add this to the list of SBCs that we have leaked. I believe we still have that. Future Stars, Taram, Hullet Gang, center midfielder from League One, the French center midfielder. And we also have a Moments Jovetic that is still leaked. But last year on this very day, this is a trip down memory lane. Last year on this very day, we had the flashback Neymar released. Yes, it may seem like a really long time ago. And this seems like a big downgrade over a flashback Neymar. But that was this day last year. And it actually caused the market to crash a ton last year on this day. So just if you remember that or not. But uh, this is a crazy SBC idea. Like, again, Foot Sheriff leaking this is like EA has to be kidding, right? We don't even know if this is serious or not. Um, Phil Jones's uh, regular silver card has like 28 stamina and 37 pace. So they're going to have to give him a huge boost. Um, but you know, this is just an interesting one and it kind of might, it might be a fun card, might be a meme, who knows? Uh, but we'll watch out for this SBC maybe being today. Uh, but also those other leaks that I mentioned, I would expect to see some sort of player SBC today on Saturday, right? The Friday, the Saturday player SBCs are kind of almost a given. So I'd expect to see that. I would also expect to see a brand new, uh, token challenge, right? We've got future star challenge. I got to get that one done before it expires, but we had a challenge yesterday, uh, challenge number five. I would expect to see another one of those today, but other than that, it might be a pretty quiet day. I'm not expecting too much else other than that. Um, maybe one of our last, um, objectives. I mean, the Academy objectives seem to be on kind of a schedule. So we had Jacob Ramsey yesterday, which is a lot of games in a friendly mode. If you want to go and do that. Um, I don't think we got, uh, Anthony Gordon till Monday of last week. So maybe, um, the Nuno Tavares that we have, the other Academy leak that we have right now that might not drop till Monday. We'll have to see, but I think it's going to be a pretty quiet day today on this game in terms of the content. Now, speaking of quiet days, I know one thing that a lot of people are looking at, at and looking forward to is investing in fodder because we have that 89 plus pack on the horizon and a lot of people are thinking about that. So where are we at in the fodder department? Well, yesterday with the refresh of the 87 plus player pick, fodder actually went up a little bit, not crazy amounts, but your 84s are now at 5,000 coins after they were at about 4.7K yesterday. Uh, yeah, 4.7 K 4.8. They kind of spiked around content to 5.7 and now they're back down. Uh, honestly, guys, I still think this is a decent time to buy in on fodder because we have this big SBC upcoming and we have a lot of SBCs still in the game, more player SBCs upcoming, like the Phil Jones that we just talked about. And we saw it leaked. Like I know that fodder prices are up. They are very high overall. I mean, you look at 84 is being 5k. That's up a lot. 85 is 13. That's up 86 is being 18 K on the grand scheme of things. They're usually like 12 to 30. 13, right? And we've had some really high fodder prices in the past couple of months. This is just a normal time of the year for fodder to be very high. I think it's not a bad gamble or a bad risk to go in on some of these cards. Now, the prices are just a little bit up from where we really wanted them to be. But if you try to get some on bids, I think I would focus in the 86 to 88 range because with the, the 89 plus icon, that's what we're kind of investing for, right? And there's a lot of people investing for it as well. So maybe you don't go like all in on fodder. Maybe you do if you really want to risk it, but I mean, there's going to be a lot of investing for this icon pack. I mean, we saw people buying cards even on Thursday. Remember when the, the pack code was dropped, we saw these 87s go from like 22K to like 25,000 coins in this big spike, and now they're, they were back down. So 
yeah, I try to get some of these guys on bid. I mean, I know the prices are up a little bit, but I guess that 87 plus yesterday with the refresh and just the combination of not many people opening packs, I was expecting fodder to drop down a little bit more uh, tonight on Friday night into Saturday as I uh, thought it normally does and it usually does. But it didn't this time, and I think that 87 plus is to blame, and the quiet day of content in general uh, to blame. So fodder prices are still up a bit, but I think they will end up going higher. So I think fodder is investable. I'm going to be careful myself and probably not invest too much, but that is something that is there uh, that we have to kind of keep an eye on for today on this game. Now, like I mentioned, I have the Ashin. Let's talk through some trades, right, with some of these future star cards because I do believe a couple of them will go up today just because people want to try them out. And one of those cards is Eddie and Ketia. I, ooh, he's actually going up already. I picked up in Ketia's for 235 to 237 and it looks like he's about 250K. I remember that when the Harry Kane card came out in Team of the Year Honorable Mentions, his card kind of exploded. Um like the day after he was released. And I think what it is, is just people want to go out and try a brand new card. And especially if it's a Prem Striker, especially if it's an English Prem Striker, there's just a lot of demand there as people want to easily plug and play that into their teams. So I think that and Ketia card is going to rise up very nicely today. As I mentioned as well, I've been trading a lot with this Yurian Timber card. And there's a lot of hype with this Timber because of his brother's SBC that was released earlier. He's like 320 at the moment. So he was 340, still a very rare card. I'm probably going to sell him. Um, as he is pretty rare. Uh, I mentioned a Musiala as well. I, I picked up a Musiala at 1.7, hoping that it can get really rare and go back up to about 1.8. Still getting listed at the moment, so we'll keep a close eye on that, but that's kind of where I'm at with him. I think these cards will have a couple fluctuations into today, but then drop off a little bit. And just talking about this team in general, uh, just kind of an overview of yesterday's content. I mean, this team two, right? The whole question was team two, greater than team one. Now with the cards of the game, Team 2, it looks good, but does it look insane? Not necessarily. Like, it just kind of feels mid. Kind of like the whole Future Stars promo has felt. Um, and, you know, yeah, that's just kind of how it feels to me. I don't know about you guys, but that's how it feels to me. The SBC yesterday was the Decatalera. Um, and this is a really interesting one. The player pick here was what surprised us all. Um, I know it's a big decision. This is one of the tougher decisions we've had for like a dual threat player pick, whatever it's called, dual potential. Uh, Decatalera, left wing with five-star skills, but less stats overall. Or the striker, four-star with the five-star weak foot. Um, man, five-star skills in this card would be so much fun, but I think... I would end up doing the striker with the five-star weak foot just for the bigger and better stats and the fact that he could be lengthy on a marksman. So uh, I watched the Inception review and Inception did the striker version. He thought it was a really good card. So, you know, 300K for this guy. I feel like if he was on the market, this would be around what his price would actually be. I mean, you compare this guy and his stats to like Enketia being 240K um, or, you know, something like that. I feel like this is pretty accurate for what his card would be on the market. He's got AC Milan links, which are pretty good links, especially in this year's FIFA. Um, that's not an undervalued SBC at all. I think that's a WSBC GG's uh, to EA for that one. And then the uh, Jacob Ramsey card that we had yesterday, it's just a lot of, a lot of games. Uh, again, these uh, Academy objectives, they really make you work for it. They really do. And Part of the reason I have an issue with this as well is, yeah, you get this Jacob Ramsey here for playing all these games, but you can almost get the exact same card just a little bit worse by going on the market and buying Joe Willick for, you know, what is he, like 30 or 40,000 coins? They're not exactly the same card, but they're both a uh, Hullet gang with all 80 stats, and they're similar enough to me to be like, okay, uh, I would just rather go buy the card off the market if I was trying to, you know, buy somebody of this type of player. So that's why I'm not a huge fan of that. It's also in like a friendly mode. Um, which maybe is better than like foot champs with like the Gordon is, but you know, it is a nice card to go out and grind. If you're a fan of Jacob Ramsey, you know, you can go ahead and get him in that way. But you know, honestly, yesterday just kind of felt mid once again. And, uh, I think that's maybe why you started to see the market drop off just a little bit again, as well as I feel like some people are seeing this content and like, man, I'm not about it. I think this content is just so mid. Uh, that maybe I'm not playing FIFA as much anymore. And we mentioned as well that the Hogwarts game is, you know, it's not quite on the same level as like Fortnite in 2018, but it almost feels in the same way. Like when has there been as big of a game, maybe besides like Warzone during COVID that like pulled people away from FIFA um, at the same time that FIFA was really going on, it was really, really kind of hot. So, you know, I think that and just the combination of the content being a little bit lackluster, we're you know, inevitably going to see some market drop-offs, but that's why I want to have that conversation today and talk about stuff because 
again, all comes down to your mindset. If you don't mind not selling at the absolute top with the highest price as possible, then keep holding. But if you, if you do and you want to sell, uh, then I think now is kind of like the end of those peak prices for a lot of cards in this market. So I know there's a lot of different cards in a lot of different places, but in general yesterday, the one thing that I saw in common was a lot of cards that were very, very high, just you know stayed at the same price or maybe dropped off just a little bit. And that's how I felt like yesterday on this game went. I did have a couple nice flips yesterday. I bought a Zidane for 1.22. This is the Messi I bought on Thursday. Wow, I never even noticed. I got a lazy bid on that one, 1635. Uh, bought that for 1.5 flat. Araujo, I lost about 10K on on a flip uh, because I just wanted to get some coins out to buy other stuff. Timber, this is the big one, right? I bought this at 346, sold it at 499, and some other small flips in here. And then this is what I have on the transfer list at the moment, the informs. Uh, and then I need to relist my Yashin. I'm going to list at 740, try to collect some profits there. And then hopefully we see a few rises into today on some of these future star cards where I can cash out, take some coins and it makes some more profit. So it's going to be an interesting day today. We'll see how with quiet content, potentially the market moves and if there is panic, but I'm not expecting a ton because again, what's there to panic for right now? Not a lot. So if you enjoyed the video today, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It has been Nate the Foot Account and I will catch you guys later. Peace.